again, everyone. Kata Kossman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. Here I am now. We are coming to the end of October next week. We have passed the Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend, which is the same day as uh, U.S. Columbus Day. And so here is an update on what is going on with the North America construction framing softwood lumber and panel prices. Right now I'm going to talk about lumber and then I'm going to make a video about the panel. The plywood and OSB prices are moving in a different trend line as I've been saying in my videos earlier this year and so I'll be giving you some further details on that. For now, let's talk about the lumber. So the biggest thing is that uh, Southern Pine on the east side, and this is due to the uh, destruction caused by Hurricane Helene, which came quite a bit further inland into areas, especially areas of elevation that don't normally see this kind of weather. And so the impact on power and on the infrastructure of the roads, the highways, and the rail line was significant, and it's going to take a while to come back. And so because, as again I've been saying in my videos throughout this year, customers have not been stocking inventory. People are wondering if the price is going to go down, and also what is going on with housing. Uh, today, Canada announced uh, quite a bit of a reduction, 50 basis points, drop in lending rates and so you know we would expect us would be having a similar announcement coming up maybe not by the same amount but it is dropping which will help with the home buyers who've been waiting to you know get a more advantageous lending rate and so and on that note housing starts in the us for september were essentially flat down a little bit, but by such a small amount. Single family housing is up 2% compared to August. So some improvement into the direction that the sawmills and the lumber suppliers would like to see. And so, like I'm saying, because the customers have not been stocking inventory as they're waiting to see what will happen with these macroeconomic conditions and also with the actual lumber prices, when this issue with supply comes on at such a degree, so suddenly it does catch people short. So immediately following that Hurricane Helene, the moderate increase in demand for Southern Pine was noticeable. And the following week, those prices started increasing. The demand for Eastern Spruce, which comes out of Quebec and New York State, also increased that same week, but the price stayed the same, okay? Now, in the week following the long weekend, prices are up even in Western Spruce. So this shows you that these products are all interchangeable, they all meet the building code. And so the customer can switch back and forth depending on what the price is, what, how is the delivery time, availability, all that kind of stuff. That all three prices have increased, and I will be showing you the graphs in just a sec. That means there is not enough supply. And as people know, as I've been saying, there have been a lot of curtailment downtime. The sawmill capacity utilization rates have been decreased in response to this ongoing muted demand. And so, this is a little bit of the situation that the uh, producers were warning their customers, don't just only order from the mill only what you need, because if something like this happens, the price is gonna go up. So what we have is in uh, the same week last year, week 41, which was last week, the week, uh, follow the week of the long weekend, the prices of Western Spruce, Eastern Spruce, and Southern Pine on the east side, two by four, were all going slightly up and had come to the same level that they had been at last year. Last year and the year before, so 2023 and 2022,
those prices were on their way down, which is the normal trend for historically in the season, as obviously construction activity slows down into winter, especially by December, which we're starting to head toward. Everybody's looking forward to that, making their plans over the next two months. So Southern Yellow Pine 2x4 on the east side, not only is it rising and meeting or surpassing the price level that it was in the same week last year, it passed the level that it was the year before 2022. Okay, so where uh, industry people are constantly have for the past couple of years been looking at where's the new price bottom. I don't want to buy now if my replacement cost is going to be, um, if I'm going to lose money on my replacement cost. This we have passed the bottom. Okay, and I said this on Western Spruce uh, a couple of months ago because I could see where the um, reasonably historically similar trend line last year, 2023, was following the last normal year would have been 2019. And uh, when the prices this year fell to that and then started rising, I'm saying we have passed the bottom and now it's time to start asking where's the new normal, not what's where's the bottom, not what is the minimum, but what is the normal regular price, which as activity starts to pick up again next year, usually February, the price will be higher. So let's look at the graphs. I have a lot to show you and then I'll come back. And so beginning with the benchmark softwood lumber commodity items sold across North America, Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4 number 2 and better. This comes out of British Columbia, Alberta, Washington State, Oregon, and a little bit out of Idaho. And so in the week ending October 18, which is week 42 on the graph that you're looking at, this price was US $402 per thousand board feet. That is FOB mill. And this is up $14 or 4% from the previous week when it was $388 and is down $2 from the rolling average of one month ago, $404, and is up $28 or 7% from the same week in 2023 when it was $374. It is down $43 or 10% from that same week two years ago when it was $400. $45. Looking now at an overview of the top six traded items by largest volume across North America. There once again is the Western Spruce at the top. Below that, Southern Yellow Pine East Side. I will be talking a lot more about this and bigger graphs coming up in a minute in this video, but you can see it's up $17 or almost 4% to $475 US per thousand board feet from 458 the previous week and up $55 or almost 14% from one month ago when it was $400. Eastern Spruce was seeing a lot of additional demand due to the damage from Hurricane Helene and for a little while that price did not rise but now in the week ending October 18th it did increase by $10 to 515. Studs are flat on the west side. Douglas fir is flat over the previous week but down quite a bit from one month ago. There were some issues sourcing logs on the coast which the mills have now resolved and are able to bring feedstock into their their facilities once again and increase their production volumes to match demand. And then we have Canadian softwood plywood prices which are up and I'm doing a whole entire video on plywood and OSB so do stay tuned for what is coming up next. This is the exact same items as you were just looking at in the table presented as a graph on a two-year rolling price history. So you can see along the left axis there is October of 2022 and much better moderation up and down of the price changes than we were seeing when this graph captured the great volatility of 2020 and 2021. I draw your attention to the teal green line 
in which is that Douglas fir I was just saying dropped down quite a bit and this just highlights that sometimes for items that are sourced the species on the coast operates a little bit differently than inland. Also, Douglas fir is a specialty item prized by architects and builders on the U.S. eastern seaboard and is used for high-end custom homes in places like Texas and California. And so it doesn't necessarily be an input into the normal housing starts, which is what we track, which, what, which is what impacts how the lumber prices go up and down as housing starts go up and down. And so here we have the benchmark item for the U.S. South, Southern Yellow Pine KD East Side, 2x4, number 2 and better. And this is the one we highlight because it is produced and sold on the highest volume, similar to why we highlight Western Spruce Pine Fir. And so you can see by the blue line this year, rising up in recent weeks, in opposition to the trend line last year and the year before or what is normal for the time of year and this is due to Hurricane Helene which not only impacted uh, several sawmills a few large sawmills I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago so do look back if you missed that but it also impacted power with a uh, taking quite a while for some areas to get power restored and definitely with infrastructure in terms of highways and railway lines. And so for the week ending October 18, this price was US $475 per thousand board feet, which is up $17 or 4% from the previous week when it was 458 and is up $75 or 19% from one month ago when it was 400. It's up $20 or 4% from the same week last year when it was $455. And it is down only $20 or 4% from the same week in 2022 when it was $495. And looking a little bit more detail, these are all images that are generated by my dashboard. My customers are able to go to the custom comparison screen and plot their own selected items against each other. So in this case, I've chosen Southern Yellow Pine East, Central and West 2x4 to show what is going on specifically in the U.S. South with the lumber prices. And as I said, with the East Side, it's up from the previous week and the previous month. In the central zone, that price is now US $422 per thousand, up 20 bucks or 5% from the previous week when it was 402 and up $55 or almost 16% from one month ago when it was 346. And on the west side, up also $20 to 415 and up $53 from one year ago when it was $339 per thousand board feet. And from that same screen, the custom comparison, you can also look at a graph. And so here we have those three items. Once again, two year rolling price history. So starting October of 2022 to present. And this is why we like to show a range of the more benchmark items to see how those price changes are playing against each other. So you can see at uh, the end of 2022, that blue line, the Southern Pine on the west side was dropping further than the red line, Southern Pine on the east side. And now that east side price remains at somewhat of a premium compared to the other two. So we'll be watching that closely as well to see what continues to happen to the end of this year and the beginning of next year to give you the best image of what's happening with the lumber market all across North America, east, west, and south. Okay, and so... All of these images come out of my dashboard, which customers have uh, logged into, and they see the new prices, the new data gets uploaded overnight on Thursday. So Friday morning, whichever time zone they're in, they get to see what is the update. They get to use the dashboard to whatever purposes they want. If they want to see one price specifically compared to last week, last month, last year, two years ago, plot, graph, 
of uh, different commodities against each other to see how those prices have been doing and read the commentary of why those prices are changing. And that commentary covers all of the commodities and species. So if you like what you see here, click like. So this video will get recommended to other viewers. Subscribe here on YouTube so you're notified when we make another video. And if you need more than just this small snapshot of a little bit of the data, on the caption here in YouTube is a link to request a sample. You can fill out the form. We will send you what are the 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track and the price for that week. And we will send you that commentary file. And so then you can make your decision of if you want to subscribe, we are having a promotional time right now because in January 2025, I will be raising the price. I have not increased the price since 2018. Okay, so get it now if you're thinking about it and don't miss out because next year it's going to be a higher rate. Lock in your rate now. By signing up today, you'll save 15% on your subscription for a whole year. Don't miss out.